South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is facing legal challenges over so-called deceptive advertising practices for this post on social media. Well, hi, I'm Kristi Noem. I'm the governor of South Dakota and had the opportunity to come to Smile, Texas to fix my teeth, which has been absolutely amazing. Travelers United, a consumer advocacy group, is suing Noem for her apparent advertisement of Smile Texas, a cosmetic dentistry firm. The group is using the Consumer Protection Procedures Act to accuse her of deceptive and misleading advertising. The more than five minute video was posted across the governor's social media channels without a clear declaration it was an advertisement. Gnome has more than 485,000 followers on X, 250,000 on Instagram, and more than 960,000 followers on Truth Social. The advocacy group says Gnome's behavior underlines the crucial need for politicians to follow advertising laws to keep public trust intact. They say her actions also encourage medical tourism, which happens when people travel to another state or country for medical care. Smile Texas promotes their services as medical tourism on their websites. Travelers United also asserts that Nome was likely compensated for her video. Legal documents claim someone with a very busy job does not take time off of that job to make a free advertisement for medical services in another state. She likely either received free dental care in exchange for this advertisement, discounted dental care in exchange for this advertisement, or she was paid and received free dental care for the advertisement. Amidst this controversy, Noam hasn't stepped back, but instead highlighted another private endorsement. This time, she's promoting a South Dakota company called Fit My Feet on social media, praising their custom insoles for enhancing her lifestyle, even referring to herself as a bionic woman. This series of endorsements by Noam raises questions about the blending of personal endorsements with political influence. The lawsuit asks that Nome clearly label any ads she posts in the future and pay for damages for each violation of the Consumer Protection Procedures Act.